What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another skill challenge. Today we are taking on penalties. As you can see at the start there, we again have the bronze, silver, gold and skill challenge set to complete. And we're going to be using Cristiano Ronaldo because he is pretty much the best player in the game. You can see there is an overall rated 92 player. And uh, what the skill challenge does for penalties guys is pretty simple. It, it teaches you uh, how to, not how to score penalties, but really where to aim the penalties and how important the 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 bar on the bottom where you get green yellow and into red how important that is because if you go to the towards the yellow and red the the circle that you see me moving there it gets bigger and bigger and bigger the further out you go uh, so this this challenge really just helps you to understand exactly where you're aiming when you're aiming because I know a lot a lot of people with penalties like when I play FIFA especially and I come to a penalty shootout or I you know concede a penalty kick. Uh, people aim tend to aim just like a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right of the keeper or straight down the middle. I very rarely have people that play against me that score penalties that go straight into the corners. Uh, you can see here I actually had to use a stutter penalty to hit the, the top right one there, but that wasn't part of this game mode. You should be able to hit the top right, the top left, the bottom right, and the bottom left without using the stutter penalty. I just found it a little bit easier to use it. The problem with the stutter penalty is when you do use it, the blue circle there moves a hell of a lot quicker. And if you move it for more than like 1.5 seconds, it just zooms off the screen and you end up like completely messing your penalty up. So the the skill games for the penalties, they, they were really fun. Like I said in the last video, the skill games are super, super addictive. I've never experienced anything like it. When we was at the EA lounge um, the last few days, the the intense uh, competition between the, the, the 10 of us that were there for the skill games was insane. Like especially between Air Japes and uh, KSI they had uh, the skill dribble challenge and they were going back and forth for hours just like improving their score by 10 points or 20 points here and there just to just to outdo each other and that's the kind of competition it brings and I think that's the kind of competition this sort of thing will bring when the game goes live and when uh, you're actually able to see leaderboards for the skill games because I know I will be focusing real hard on these to, to try and get up to the top of the leaderboards but what that also does is by trying to by continuing to attempt these uh, these challenges and by continuing to drive yourself to get top of the leaderboards it will definitely improve your FIFA game because when you come to in a real game situation you'll be like oh snap I remember how I did this and it will just be easy because you you know you remember what you did in the the game sorry in the skill challenge and you can definitely put that into the game so what I want to do guys is just get your thoughts and feelings on the skill games so far if you haven't seen the other two skill games that I've put up so far uh, I'll leave the links to them in the description but I've also got a playlist uh, going on for the skill games which I'll also leave in the description uh, I messed the penalty up there I was supposed to hit the the targets on the left um, and I will be uploading another skill challenge in just a few hours time so what I've got in terms of skill challenges guys I have got the uh, the advanced shooting, the dribbling, the crossing, um, and I've, I've got one more. I can't remember what that is, uh, but let me know what kind of skill challenge you want. So we'll go for, for those three. We'll go for either advanced shooting, dribbling, or crossing for the next skill challenge that we're going to put up. And then I'll be able to tell you the other, the other two that I've got going on when you decide for that one. But uh, in terms of FIFA 13, guys, what you've seen so far, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of mixed comments in the comment section about how they think FIFA will play and how people will think. Uh, um, a lot of people think negatively about FIFA 13 f from the videos that they've seen, especially my video against Wee Peeler there uh, yesterday. A lot of people assume that the, the game looks bad or like there's ping pong passing or it's not FIFA Street, it's FIFA. In terms of skills, the, the game has been toned down massively. Like you, I, I, I said this before when we had only played the FIFA 13 demo in Gamescom, and I'll say it again, I don't think there's going to be too many skill targes or montages out there, because the skills, although they are nice, especially the new skills, the, the amount of people that can do the skills is lowered massively, which, although I don't really like because I do like doing skills, even if I don't, you know, I'm not very good at them or making montages, I still like to have the five-star skill players, but it is a hell of a lot more realistic to have less five star skillers because it doesn't really happen in real life too much and it, it definitely doesn't happen to the point where you've got like four or five people on every team with the ability to pull off all kind of skill moves um so for that reason i do think it, it would be a lot better but uh wow that was a terrible penalty right there from ronaldo slipped over um 
but I, I do like the the fact as well that the the better the player, uh, so somebody like Ronaldo will pull off the skill moves real fluently, uh, really really quick. Like if you know if you do a ball roll, he won't lose control of the ball or anything like that. The 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 skill moves are just real real nice to do and feel real comfortable. But if you have like a silver or a bronze five star skiller, Wellington Silver being the only bronze five star skiller as far as we know. Uh, the skill moves take a little bit longer to do. They're a little bit more clumsy with them. Uh, there's the reverse elastico that basically when you do the, the trick, the ball pops up off your foot sometimes. And that tends to happen more with the silver and uh, lower rated gold five-star skillers. Just because the ball technique isn't quite there for them. And it causes the skill to, to hugely just, you know, almost go wrong, if you like. Which is a great feeling because it's going to... It actually looks cool sometimes when the skill move messes up just a little bit. And it actually works out in your favor. That's pretty nice. But I want you guys, if you haven't already, I'm going to leave links to the descriptions from everybody that's made FIFA videos so far. So everybody I was with uh, at the EA event, I'm going to leave their channel link and a video link in the description. Go ahead and watch all their videos. And uh, come back to me and let me know what kind of good and bad points you feel about FIFA and if you've got any questions for me about FIFA 13 that I can answer that would be you know I'll be happy to answer them unfortunately guys we didn't get to play any online game mode so we haven't played or seen anything to do with ultimate team or pro clubs we've only been able to play like a head to head and career mode uh, which I have got some career mode videos ready to come for you guys but I'm just waiting for EA to give me the approval that the the footage is okay to upload and then I will be uploading that for you. But this is coming towards the end here, guys. As you can see, I did complete the skill challenge. I don't think I got very far after I finished this penalties. I think I got to the semi-pro section. But if you could hit, uh, hit that like button, would be awesome. And thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Yes. It's not jizz.